There are only two full collections of presidential portraits. One is held by the White House and the other by the National Portrait Gallery. The National Portrait Gallery is the only of these two collections that is accessible to the public all year round in our permanent exhibition, America's Presidents. And these portraits are a document of the people who have held the highest office in the country. And as that, they are an artistic record of our political history. With few exceptions that include the Lansdowne portrait of George Washington by Gilbert Stuart or Elaine de Kooning's portrait of John F. Kennedy, presidential portraits usually blend in with one another. It is impossible not to notice that all these portraits represent older white men. And so one can also infer that there is a barrier of accessibility there for other people aspiring to that position. The commissioned portrait of the President and First Lady usually happens towards the end of a sitting president's term. The portrait gallery starts a conversation with the curatorial staff of the White House and we start to discuss possible candidates to paint those paintings. Former President Barack Obama and Mrs. Michelle Obama were known for their interest in modern and contemporary art. And in that sense, it is not surprising that they chose Amy Sherrill and Kehinde Wiley to paint their portraits. I'm also thinking about all of the young people, uh, particularly girls and girls of color, who in years ahead will come to this place and they will look up and they will see an image of someone who looks like them hanging on the wall of this great American institution. Wow, what an incredible journey we are on together in this country. Like Michelle, uh, I have never had a portrait done of myself. And so when I heard that this was part of the tradition, I didn't quite know what to do. We had an immediate connection with the two artists that are sitting here today. Amy Sherald and Kehinde Wiley are artists who are firmly rooted in portraiture, but they tweak that tradition. And this is what's fascinating about these portraits, that they stand not only as documents of the historical presence of the Obamas, but also as contemporary works of art. There is an artistic vision that is expressed through them. And that artistic vision has very much to do with the commitment of Kehinde Wiley and of Amy Sherald to create a space for people of color. Prior to the election of Barack Obama, my work was so much about painting the powerless, painting those people who come from many of the black and brown underserved communities throughout the world. What I did was I asked complete strangers who were oftentimes on their way to work, minding their own business, to sit for me, to, to be in these portraits. And oftentimes these moments of chance would turn into these epic scale paintings that you would see in some of the great museums throughout the world. I think that transformation act is completely different from what occurs in a presidential portrait. Here, you're dealing with the most powerful man, arguably, in the world, and now you're dealing with actual power, not metaphorical, but it's depiction and you're talking about the contours and the historical realization of grace, of power, in its most visceral and raw form. The flowers that you see behind him are flowers that come from Indonesia. You have the state flower of Illinois. You have flowers from Kenya. Essentially, what we're doing is we're tracking his presence on the face of the earth, his personal story, and inscribing that within the language of theatrical presidential portraiture. The portrait of the former First Lady by Amy Sherald is very different from the portrait of the President. The portrait follows a model that Amy Sherald follows commonly. She usually depicts her sitters in a blank background in a solid color or a background with very few compositional elements. And so the portrait becomes all about the sitter and their style, how they carry themselves. Her sitters also look directly at the viewer. 
and she paints their skin in grayscale. I worked on the painting start to finish for about two months. It was the only thing I did for two months. You know, you're always scared you're gonna mess up when you're doing something that's such a big deal like that. The little bit of fear that you feel and anxiety is what helps you get it right. So I was really focused. Part of my process is photographing my models outside. I like working with natural light. And so we had to find somewhere in DC that was private and kind of incognito where we could be outside for that extended time. And I had about two hours to get the photograph that I needed for the reference photo. I don't consider my work portraits because once I start the painting, I kind of leave the identity of the model behind and the portrait becomes more of an archetype to represent something bigger. I see myself as an American realist and somebody that tells American stories and this is a very American story. When I think about how art historians will look back at my work, I want them to see it as something that was necessary and hopefully changed the course of painting and American art history in a way that could make a difference for future artists and art history in general. The response to the portraits has been overwhelming. These are portraits that are exciting to people. They identify with them and people come from all over the world to see them. However, we know that some people cannot get to Washington DC and for that reason, we made the decision to send them on a national tour. In order to represent the first African-American president and first lady, you had to look for a new language. You had to treat portraiture differently. And I think that is what people respond to. When you see the popularity of these portraits, how people have embraced them, how they have captured the public imagination, it is because the different way in which they present the former president and first lady conveys something fresh and something accessible. Extraordinary, but accessible at the same time. And they can see themselves in those portraits.